qualify PU2 2026 aspirants. So if your midterm exams have not gone well, you don't have to worry because you still have four months time in your hand. So in this video, I'm going to discuss a detailed four month strategy, how you can prepare for the next four months so that you can get 95% plus in your final exams. So let's see what we have in today's video. So first of all, I'll talk about how to do a reality check, then syllabus mapping and monthly plan, daily study routine, revision strategy and smart resources. So coming to reality check, so first of all, analyze your midterm marks and check all subject marks and categorize them into strong, average and weak subjects, okay? So if you are getting almost 55 plus, you can put it in the strong. If you are getting between 35 to 55, you can put it in average. And if you are getting less than 35, you have to keep it in weak uh, subject category. Okay, next what you have to do subject uh, syllabus mapping and monthly targets. So now you have to see how many chapters have come in the midterm and how many chapters are left. Okay, so if I see the uh, uh, schedule or the syllabus which I had in physics 6 chapters, maths 5 chapters, chemistry 4 chapters and bio 6 chapters, right? So that accounts to almost uh, I can say 10, 16, 21 chapters, right? So now we will be mapping this 21 chapters. So you have to focus seven chapters from mid-October till November. In November, you have to target seven chapters and in December, seven chapters. This is how you can distribute them. So as uh, if you are in your class, in your school already, the syllabus is completed, then you have to uh, just follow this particular uh, timetable. Or else if in your uh, classes or in your college, the syllabus is still not completed and it will be completed by October, uh, I can say by November. So you have to go with your school, like whichever chapter is done there, you have to complete it in your home as well. Okay. Next, what should be your daily study routine? So you have to spend seven hours for sleeping, seven hours you can spend for college and four hours for daily code. Okay. So now that accounts to almost 19 hours. Okay. So we have left with five hours for self-study. In that first, you should do school or college revision. So whatever is taught in the school or uh, in your college, you have to come and revise everything so that you don't create any uh, backlogs here. Next, we have two hours one two hour subject one so here you have to give time for difficult subject okay next you have to give one hour for here you can give moderate or that the average subject okay and then next we have two hours of question practice two or i can say one hour of question practice you can do okay so every day here two hours here one hour and here one to two hours based on how much time you have left you have to practice now let me give you a revision strategy so daily you have to revise because if you don't revise whatever you study you will forget it later and you have to start from scratch again right so make sure that you revise everything properly so that is why you have to do 15 to 20 minutes of revision every day after whatever you have studied then you should also focus Focus on weekly revision so here you have to spend half a day where you revise whatever you studied in the whole week and then you also need to do monthly revision where you spend one to two days to revise whatever is taught or whatever you have uh, studied in the whole month okay now after that what you have to do was oh, just a minute sorry so I'll just discuss after that what you have to do yeah so this is uh, you have to do till in the month of November and December right from January onwards okay from January onwards what you have to do please listen to me from January onwards you have to focus on PU2 test papers okay PU government will release the model question papers that you have to focus and for all the chapters you have to do the PYQs once again okay you have to solve the PYQs you have to solve the test papers and also you will have pre-board papers right so you have to focus on pre-board papers now coming to the month of February here what you have to do here you have to also solve model question papers so at least four to five model question papers per subject you have to solve okay per subject you have to solve model question papers and then you have to analyze your mistakes what mistakes you are doing and that you have to write in your error notebook so whatever mistakes so when you are doing this in your pre-boards also you will analyze which is your strong subject weak subject you will analyze your mistakes right and these mistakes you have to note down and where will you note down you will note down in sorry just a minute yeah so where you will note down you will note down in your error notebook 
okay so just let me repeat in january what we have to do in the month of january we have to do focus on our practicals okay and pre boots okay and we have to solve uh, model question papers and previous year papers okay in the february month you have to fully focus on revision from where you will revise see when you have solved these many question papers there will be so many questions that you did wrong that all should be noted in your error notebook now in the month of february what you have to do you have to do revision from where from this error notebook again also you have to solve more sample papers okay so from now onwards whenever you are studying there should be only one resource that you follow that is your ncrt resources okay read all the chapters line by line in your ncrt resource and then you have to continue till now till december just try to complete the entire syllabus in january try to focus on your uh, question practice in february again revision and question practice so if you follow this four month strategy definitely you can get 95% plus in your final exams i can guarantee you that so please focus in this way if you have liked this video do not forget to subscribe the channel and put down your doubts in the comment section